thinking of starting a YouTube channel? Would you prefer to watch someone else try to do it following all the advice the experts are giving? Would you like someone else to do your research for you and figure out what works? If so, stay tuned. Thank you for visiting me today. I'm Karen, this Mainer Mom, and I'm offering real life help to real life moms. I know so many of us have thought about starting a YouTube channel. I actually started one 18 months ago. I made four videos and quickly gave up. But since then, I've been doing a lot of research and I'm ready to try again, and this time, I'm not giving up. I think that being, having a YouTube channel is the perfect um, vocation for someone who is a stay-at-home mom like me because you're filming what you do and you're helping other women and encouraging them in their journey that's so much like yours. And I'm excited to build a community where we can help each other. But let's get started on the YouTube channel. All right, let's talk equipment. The experts all say, don't go out and buy new equipment. So I'm not. I do have a MacBook Pro, so I'm able to use iMovie to edit my videos for free. It's extremely user-friendly. I'll say the only drawback if you have iMovie and you're wondering why you're having such a hard time uploading from iMovie to YouTube is don't do it. Upload the video from iMovie somewhere else on your computer. For me, I'm putting in downloads. I know some people put it on their desktop. And then when you go to your Creator Studio on YouTube, you can go from the Creator Studio back to iMovie and load it from there. And once I did that, I mean, I had tried uploading for like four hours and it, I I couldn't even see a bar that told me how far I had gotten. But once I went from YouTube and was going back to my downloads folder and getting it there, it took about an hour and a half. So that was way better. The other thing I do to help my speed, because I have Wi-Fi, so rather than using um, like a cordless um, internet, I put the internet cord right into my computer. Um, I, I don't know if that really makes it faster. I'll have to try it wireless and see the difference. But I have a feeling it might. So I have my MacBook Pro. I have iMovie. I have a Canon Rebel EOS uh, T3i. And to be perfectly honest, if you were to buy a camera for your YouTube channel, I would not suggest this one. The reason is it has a glitch with the video and that is when it hits four megabytes of memory it's going to automatically shut off so if you're making a cleaning video where you just want to you know just keep cleaning through the house and keep it running it's going to shut itself off so i don't plan on um trying more than um say seven or eight minutes before I'm shutting it off and starting a new clip. Now I would say that as a new YouTuber having a lot of clips actually helps me edit. Um, it's easy to put them together than it is to edit in the middle of a clip. So it's actually not that big of a deal. Um, and the other thing that I do is I'll give myself a minute. Like when I turn the camera on I'm gonna look in the camera, smile, focus, concentrate, get myself together, and then start talking. Um, and then it's easy to edit the beginning and end of a clip. So it's good to take your time so that you it gives yourself something to edit and a place to kind of start and finish that clip. All right. What else do I have? Um, I have a yearly subscription to PicMonkey. I use that to create my thumbnails and any still photos that I need. I already had that because the reason I bought this Canon camera was so that I could take family pictures when family's in town. I have a large family. I have seven children. One's married with a baby and not living near me. So whenever he comes, it's super important that we get some good photos. Also, my mom and my husband's mother both live far away. So I had already bought the Canon camera for that. And I already had PicMonkey, which I love. Super easy to use. So I do recommend that um, if you're able to spend a little bit of money on that yearly subscription. Um, I have also like a $25 tripod um, that I'm using that I bought off of Amazon. All right, speaking of PicMonkey, my thumbnail. I'm trying, uh, I've changed my thumbnails from when I was doing it 18 months ago to using a background color that's the same every time that people will recognize as mine. I'm always putting my face in, eyes showing, the whites of my eyes are showing um, so that people will become engaged in my thumbnail and seeing it more as a stop sign using a really bright font, a really large font. I'm more careful about 
having it something that people find very viewable on a phone. So, you know, when they're viewing it on the phone, your thumbnail's about this big. So it really needs to pop. So I'm working really hard on making my thumbnails pop. So if you just go to my channel and just look at the list of videos, you'll see a huge difference from when I was posting before to when I'm posting now and how my thumbnail looks. Um, I would say that my biggest challenge is, okay, I'm trying to improve just a little bit with each video. I'm not trying to be perfect right out the gate because I know it's really not possible. I'm testing different things to see if they work and if they're effective, and I'm just trying to improve maybe 1% each video is the ed standard advice that I'm hearing. And do I know exactly what 1% is? No, of course not. But I think it just means that it's just one little improvement every time you upload, and over time you're going to get better at this. Um, but my biggest challenge is this is awkward I really want to build a community I really want to meet more people online I love the people that I watch and I would love to build a community with them I would love to build a community with you I love you already and I don't even know you I love people I want to help other moms I want to help other wives I'm not young I'm 54 years old I have a lot of experience under my belt I have seven children as I said three are biological four are adopted so I have that background um, and I just really want to help people and I would love to provide for my family too I'd be lying if I if I didn't tell you that but I'm not used to being in front of the camera I don't I'm in a small house and I don't want my family staring at me while I'm getting used to doing that and I feel like they're kind of like critiquing me because you know uh, I have teenagers and they're they're often embarrassed by whatever mom's doing so I kind of want to get good at this before I'm putting it out there even to them they know I'm doing it super supportive but it's just a little awkward for me and I'm just trusting that if I keep going keep doing it eventually it's going to get more comfortable and I'm going to be loud and proud with it and you know I haven't told any of my friends because I don't you know they don't watch YouTube videos like I do they're not watching cleaning videos the type of stuff that I'm creating so I'm a little shy to tell them even though I know they'll be supportive but I just picture them I don't know I picture people telling me I'm crazy it's not the first time anyone's ever told me I'm crazy so um, I really hope that you'll join me in this journey and I thank you so much for stopping by um, I hope that you'll continue to watch with me. Maybe you're new at this too, and you can learn from me. And I would love if you would share with me the tips that you're learning so that I could get better um, with your help. If you're an expert in this uh, and you're just around for the laugh, I welcome you too. I hope you'll also leave me some advice in the comments below. So thank you so much for watching. I'm Karen This Made Her Mom. If you want to see my future uploads, Feel free to hit that subscribe button, hit the bell that's, um, so that you'll know when I'm uploading. Um, like this video so that YouTube will suggest it to others, and I hope to see you next time. Thanks. Bye.